Well, tomorrow, New Orleans is coming to Mid-Michigan, the Grammy-nominated band. The Rumble is ready to give audiences a taste of the Cajun, Congo, and Creole flavors of their culture in their concert, Local Roots, which is heading to Lanesburg. And they're here to tell us all about the sights and sounds of the concerts. Gentlemen, how are we feeling? I'm great. How you guys doing out there? Really glad to be back in the Lansing area. Well, awesome. Tell me about the early origins of the Rumble. We, we got this band together uh, due to the fact that we all love playing music together. And while we had we all had a common uh, goal that we want to set out, pursue with music. So we decided to do it together. And we wanted more creative control and we wanted to represent um, New Orleans, black mask and culture in the way that we wanted to with the culture bears like Joseph at the forefront and actually having ownership stake. So can you describe to us what that New Orleans flavor culture sounds like and what will audiences get a chance to see on that stage? A lot of people may have not actually ventured down to New Orleans to know about all of its traditions and cultures that it holds, but uh, we're bringing a few to the stage, such as I already said, the Black Mask culture. Um, I'll be representing that in full regalia. Uh, we also bring to the forefront, you know, the brass band culture of New Orleans, Gull and Bone Gang. You know, a lot of things that people may not have just heard about, but now you get a chance to see it live and you also get a chance to see it in a way that you won't typically see it nowhere else in the world, but with the Rumble. Because uh, what we do is we pull from all of those old uh, cultural experiences from our ancestors, from our elders, and we've learned those things just through the years of being culture bearers. Myself, Aurelian Barnes, uh, Jose Mays, all these guys grew up in New Orleans uh, practicing these cultures. And now with us being on the forefront, we kind of take those same culture practices and we turn them up a notch. You know, we rumble fight, if you will. You know, we take that culture and we create our own music and our own sound and style with it. Well, Joseph, I love that. And I cannot wait to see that rumbify on the stage. But what's also exciting is that audiences also get a chance to participate. So the culture that I'm speaking of, the Black Masking culture, a lot of it has to do with call and response. Most of the chants were kind of built off of call and response. They chant and they, they sing with, uh, with the chief and the Indians to build like this community and we represent each other. So that's what a call and response. We like to get our audience into that. So, you know, it may be times in the song where we ask, you know, audience members to participate because without the audience, then it won't be the rumble, so. And Ari, I know you have some East Lansing roots as well. How did your time at MSU influence where you are today with the band? Oh yeah, I'm a third generation Michigan State Spartan. Go green. Go white. There you go. Uh, I studied in the jazz program um, from 2012 to 2016. Um, so under direction of great Rodney Whitaker, I just learned so much about um, jazz and and blues and really the origins of the music. They did a really good job teaching us from um, – uh, both a cultural and historical um, point of view and the professors at Michigan State, they're active uh, performers in the community. Well, Studio 10 is very familiar with Rodney Whitaker. He's been on the show quite a few times, so we completely know and understand what a great professor he is. But we also know that Mid Michigan will be so excited for this concert this weekend. But for some, this will be the first time that they ever experience New Orleans culture. So Ari, how should audiences prepare? Be ready to get on your feet. Be ready. Be ready to dance. And Joseph, what do you want audiences to walk away with this weekend after seeing the Rumble Band? I also want people to take away the knowledge of, you know, the culture that we're bringing. You know, we like to teach. We want to be able to teach everybody exactly what it is that they experience it. So we'll be doing a little bit of that throughout the show. So I want people to, most of all, just take away appreciation for 
Loyola Scholarship. Well, gentlemen, congratulations on all your success and good luck. And if you're interested in seeing the Rumble, you can catch them tomorrow at their free concert in Lanesburg at the McClinton Park Amphitheater from 6 to 8 p.m. We'll see you there.